Finally, how do I activate these systems? How do I get these financial systems to work for me? Number one, you must have a life of total surrender. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you, oh Lord. Every step that I take, every moment I'm away. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you, oh Lord, every step that I take, every moment I'm away, Lord, I have You want to activate God's financial system to work for you, the first principle is a life of total surrender proverbs 23 26 he said my son give me your heart and let your eyes observe my sin god is never committed to a man that is not totally surrendered and you are only totally surrendered when your heart is involved how many of us are willing to be surrendered to god your family is waiting on you. Some of you are going to be so blessed. The wealth you will carry can feed communities, nations. But when are you going to truly surrender your life? When are you truly going to allow God to take first place? That there are doors that will open in your life and you will personally shut the door. Not because it is not good, but because it is not of God. Remember what Jesus told the rich young ruler. He came to Jesus and said, good master. Jesus said, no one is good except God. So the reason why you can call a thing a good thing is because it came from God. A surrendered life. Number two, a transformed mind. A transformed mind. You must contend for wisdom, for understanding, for light, for knowledge. Romans 12, 2 says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind. Proverbs 4 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all you're getting, get understanding. <laughs> a, 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 an anointed man without a transformed mind might still amount to poverty. There is something called the power of the mind, the power of a transformed mind. The greatest miracle of a believer is the miracle of a transformed mind. For the unbeliever, their greatest miracle is salvation. For the believer, your greatest miracle is transformation. That your mind is able to expand capacity in knowledge. Look at that scripture we read, Ecclesiastes 2.26. 26. It said, to a man that is good in the sight of God, he gives wisdom and knowledge. Build capacity. Buy the truth, the Bible says, and sell it not. Be obedient to these laws. Make a practice of them. Be diligent in what you do. Brand your value intelligently. Number four, build strategic relationships. Build strategic relationships. Build strategic relationships. Relationships are not gifts. They are investments. You must build it with time. If you want people to be interested in you, you'll have to be interested in what concerns them. A man who wants friends, Proverbs 18, 24. A man who wants friends must himself be friendly. Build strategic relationship. And then finally, so that we can pray. Engage the prophetic. How do you engage the prophetic? It's very simple. Look at what happened at creation. Do you know that if you understand, the prophetic engages the supernatural. And it is important to know that the supernatural 
controls the natural. The heavenly controls the earthly. The spiritual controls the physical. Everything you see here is a dummy and a slave to what is in the spirit realm. The prophetic helps, makes you engage the spirit realm in your favor. When God created the earth, here was what he did. The Bible says that the spirit of God moved upon the waters. He waited for the move of the spirit first. And after that, the Bible says, and God said. So to engage the prophetic, you must understand how to deploy or how to generate spiritual energy. And then through the power of spoken words, deploy creativity to make that energy manifest. So when I begin to pray for you, what I'm doing is activating the, the prophetic. The power of God is already present. But just because the power of God is present doesn't mean that that which you seek, which is financial abundance, can immediately translate in your life. No. It is power that needs to be converted. Electricity is generated. But for you to use electricity, you need to convert it. Many of you will need to learn how to go beyond just praying in tongues. To taking advantage of the energy you generate when you pray in tongues. Learn to speak and activate the power of creation through words. When God spoke, he knew what he wanted. And he spoke them definitely. Let there be light. He didn't just say anything should come at random. No. Learn to use the prophetic to deploy the advantage that will bring financial abundance in your life. For instance, favor can bring a timely intervention of financial resources. But do you know that favor will not just arrive because you have a fine face? Do you know that via the prophetic you can activate favor? The Bible says he daily loads us with benefits. He daily loads us. So when you finish praying in the morning, don't just leave that prayer place before speaking into the day and programming the favor. And guess what? Do you know that you can program it with time and it will meet you exactly at the time? What did Elisha say? By this time tomorrow. When Jonah was stranded in the belly of the fish, you know what brought him out? It was his mouth. He said in Jonah 2 verse 9, I will sacrifice unto the Lord and I will pay my vow. The Bible says next verse, And the Lord sent the fish and it vomited Jonah on dry land. Left for dead in the belly of a fish, his mouth brought him out. The Bible says there shall be the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the path, that you will stand up and declare that this poverty in my lineage, it will come to an end because of me. Great men did not become great because of the precedence before them. They became great because of their decision. You have to stand up and say enough is enough. You forget about where you came from. Forget about your background. It doesn't matter. Christ in you, the hope of glory.